Hello everybody, Torgal here and welcome back to my modded Minecraft Let's Play series here on the Unbound Mod Pack. Last time we got started with our water wheel setup over here. You guys see a little bit of stuff was added, you see water and so on, but I'm gonna show you guys that later. First, I would like to get my inventory under control. It's really driving me nuts and if you guys have been a long time viewer, you know that I never liked um, when you play a mod pack and they are on purpose made difficult to have an easy to access inventory because we are played in modded Minecraft, right? There is so many more items. Just like if you if you landscape something, right? You're gonna end up with a dozen more different flowers than in vanilla, different soil types, woods, saplings, fruits, all this stuff, right? And then of course, on top of that, also many more different metals and gems, um, ores and so on. It's just a pain in the butt if you don't have a good inventory system, right? And today we're gonna try out something new that there has been a lot of issues in the past with, but I still want to give it a go. Hopefully it will work out for us. And that is I want to set up our first uh, inventory or our first storage system with simple storage network here. It's a mod that I've played with just a few minutes in the creative world once and never since then again. And then we're also gonna get our bags under control because if you check this out here, this is like that crafting bag or the the, uh, the the temporary bag that I have with me, right? All these different things that I needed over there to build and whatnot. And then of course my tool bag is getting out of hand again. I made this one here between episodes. It's the same as this one. It is an iron rod. You know, I should, uh, huh, I wonder why I didn't make this copper and then even give it a um, mossy moss uh, what is it called the moss that makes it repair i just made an iron rod an iron binding and then the auto smelt um plate and a stone head i like the stone heads because we can easily repair them on the go and that's where i've been getting all this charcoal from here because i didn't have any more and i don't really want to use the coke oven to make me charcoal anyway so we know we're running out of room all these rods I don't even have all the ones with me that I want to have with me and there's many other things so I want to have a new inventory management itself which we're gonna use the handy bag and the simple storage system so I want to get started with the simple storage here first and it's 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 a little overpowered because it doesn't need power okay um, it has very similar functionality to the storage scanner from RF tools um, but you can even have import and export cables and so on on here, which we're not going to use in this here um, We're just going to use it as a storage network. So we're going to use these storage link cables But the first thing we're going to have to make uh, is a storage master right here That's the thing, but we're also going to need two more to make this Super remote here where I can access my system from anywhere in any dimension Okay, so we're gonna need three. Whoops What is that? Junk storage unit. No, no, no. We want this one here. So we're gonna need a bunch of these cables here. What? What did I do with it? Wait, hold on a second. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> I, I took this all out because I went mining earlier, and I'm like, oh, uh, I just dump it here in the chest. So there we go. Let's go ahead and make. Um, let's just make 32 for now. I don't know how many of them are gonna need. And then, like I said, we're gonna make three of these. So I'm gonna need. I went on a quartz run, so I'm gonna need 12 of these. Nether is still very dangerous with all these hell cows and hell pigs and all that gobbledygook. Alright, so we got three masters. One we're gonna need for the, just like a controller, right? Then we're gonna need to craft one of these. Let's get that boy. Gold. This is, I'm almost all out of gold. That's why I actually meant mining and I didn't come back with any. Which is a real bummer. Let's go ahead and make this remote first. So first we're going to have to make the simple remote. And then we're going to have to upgrade that. These I also had to get. I didn't have any. I only brought 10 because you usually don't need them for very much. So we have the super remote as well, which is amazing. <laughs> uh, the other one here is only 64 block distance, right? It's like in a sky block or something. This one is probably enough, but this one here is nice because I can access it from anywhere. Okay, so we have that, and then I'm gonna need, for these four here, uh, I wonder if that's gonna work if I put one in the middle. And then I also need one here, I made the store control at the draw controller here, I'm sure you guys have seen many of these, um, because I just wanted to dump everything in here easy, and I also locked them all, and this way I can hopefully 
access this. I don't know if there's any priorities or this or not. We'll figure it out. Let's go ahead and make... Oh, whatever. Go back. Actually, don't I have a lot of chests? I have one. Okay, I don't have a lot of chests. <laughs> Um, how many we're gonna we're gonna need two sets of the no I need just need four. I actually only need three So that should be enough here Okay, so let's go ahead and set this up And see if I can figure out how this works So I'm thinking of putting the this is the request table. So we're gonna put that here That's like a crafting grid and then we're gonna put this guy right there the master And now if I open this I, I, I can already open it, but you see there's nothing in here and of course it got rid of this because it's set to JEI search enabled, which I never like. Um, I like these to be different. I always have, um, even in applied logistics or whatever. Okay, and then we're going to need a storage link right there on this thing. And then... Aha, so this can only connect to one at a time. Alright, so... No, I don't know what this is going to look like from underneath here, but that's fine. We're going to go ahead and set these two up. So I do need to make another set of these and put that one. If I place it again, it goes down first. What's the matter with you? Can you not go up here, Bubba? So maybe I should go the other way. Um, I guess we can leave these here. I'm going to close this in a second. And then we probably need to come up here. I don't know. Oh, this is the outside. I'll figure something out. We can make this look nice. Okay, so... This is just planks, okay? I just want to be able to see it. So put that there, and we're going to have to make four more. Oh, let's get another chest. And at simple... All right. Um, click against this, click against this, hello? Alright, you don't wanna? Um... Alright, get out of here. <laughs> Can't believe what I need to do to place this one cable here. Okay. So these are connected, and then we're gonna have to connect all of this up here. Oh man, I'm such an idiot. Look at this. So much easier I can do that. I can't believe I didn't see that. I can put one here and one there. And then all I gotta do is connect this over here and right there. So I can fix the roof here again. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Can fix the roof again here in a second. Let's close this so I don't fall down. All right, let's see if we can see everything. Oh, I gotta make sure that F7. Yep, I'm gonna have to put a torch right there. All right, it looks like we have access, sort direction, sort by name, sort by... I always like it like this, sort by amount. I always have. And this is it. And of course we can search for something. So let's search for a redstone, okay? And I believe it also works here. Let's go ahead and get started with the handy bag. Uh, not, not at handy, at, uh, and the utilities. Uh, let's see if we can craft something in here. So we're going to need this stuff. And you know what? Let me put all of this back in the system. So I'm going to need for the handy bag just one set of these. And can I just toss you in here? Yes. Very nice. Um, right there. And then we're gonna need an ender chest, so I'm gonna need an eye of ender. Ender chest. Oh, wow, that was my last obsidian? Really? Yep. Wow, that was cool that I had enough. <laughs> um, and then we need these guys here, so I'm gonna need two more eyes of ender. Um... And I'm going to need to get more obsidian real quick. Well, we can just do that down here real quick. No reason to go hunting for that. Let's go ahead and... What do we have in here? Nothing. So one, two, and I do have two more buckets in here. I was bringing this with me, so if I go back to the nether next time, I can fill it up because I'm running out of lava. So now we got two blocks, so we can pour these... All 
that right there and there. And pour the other one. Good. And then, of course, we're going to have to play around with this remote here in a second. Come on, harden for me. Do it. Thank you. Oh. I'm going to probably keep running over there for a while until I get used to this. All right. Oh, this only makes two. I'm going to need a lot more obsidian. Okay, let me go ahead and get a bunch of lava and make a bunch of obsidian so we can make more of these. Um, and I'm also going to close the roof here real quick. Oh, stop. Before we go. Here we go. Right click the remote. Nothing happens. Do I need to click on this? Connection. Uh, done. Okay, so now I clicked on it. To check it out. I have access to my entire inventory on this remote. And it's the same as if I use this crafting grid and it can be from anywhere in the world. I, I love it. Um, it's also going to make, of course, we haven't checked yet. Is there a, there is a priority. Priority up. And then we can see blacklists, input and output. So let's set this to priority 10. And the other ones here, I'm just going to leave whatever priority regular, right? Um, and they're going to just fill up from the front. Of course, then I won't have my nice... Um, sorting anymore where everything is in the proper chest, but actually so far it, has, it looks like it has put the diamonds. Where did it put the diamonds? Let's find those. They put it in here. Interesting. I wonder why this one which would be closest, second closest, third and farthest. So why did it put it in here? Maybe it goes farthest to closest. It doesn't really matter. But anyways, I'm going to go get us a bunch of obsidian and then we'll continue. I don't know about you guys, but sometimes being lazy is actually just being smarter, right? <laughs> I'm like, I don't want to bucket all this stuff here into a tank and then it's only going to have 16. So I just made a drum, you know, being able to access everything from here has its advantages. I also got some dimensional shards from right down here. They were right nicely exposed, so I'm happy about that. And a little bit more of this good stuff here. Um, as much as I like this mantle of the stars, it's it's it takes too many blocks falling before you actually start gliding. So in the nether, I, I prefer my hang glider. My good old-fashioned hang glider. I get off the ground with this resonating wand, and then switch to the hang glider. And you can glide a lot longer, and also slower. Um, and I'm not really sure where it's getting the lava from because I don't see any source blocks being removed here. It's supposed to be right underneath it. So I don't know if it's just a block right underneath it and it just extends down. But I already have 39 buckets. Uh, <clears throat> not really sure. Maybe that's a change from... Um, build craft that now it doesn't actually remove the source blocks i don't know um but you guys see it's kind of weird right usually this should all be flowing so i just replaced the three redstone engines with a sterling engine right that just you just give it a burnable and that is a lot faster than those i mean 188 now watch when it pumps when it actually gets going 193 already five buckets so this is definitely much faster than those three and i think it's not bad to have one of these with me. You cannot use any other power, by the way. Um, RF or any form, okay? Um, Buildcraft only uses MJ power. And the mod developer also said that it will never be made. They he wants it to become a, a standalone mod, okay? You can use pipes from other mods, I learned um, when I did some testing with it. Um, so you can transport liquids to and from and so on. Um, and also items with, for example, thermal dynamics or something, but not power. I tried everything. You cannot... Maybe somebody is going to make some kind of a power conversion mod eventually. Um, but even like the mechanism energy cubes, the uh, immersive engineering wires, the um, flux network, and so on. We, we tested all of this. None of this works. Okay, so this is done and... All right, we're gonna. I got 20 made so far, and I'm gonna just let this pour. But I don't understand how something like this happens when I put them in by the bucket. And then all of a sudden, I have 55 millibuckets of water and 625 millibuckets of lava. I, I, makes no sense to me, but whatever. <laughs> so, but hopefully, we have enough of this stuff now so we can go ahead and 
finish the rest here. So let's get to Ender Utilities. Um, what was I making? I was making the bag. Yes, because I needed many more of these here. Let's just make... Okay, so I'm going to have to go over to the mob farm real quick and get a bunch of Ender Pearls real quick. Just going to run there with you guys real quick so we can see... How many we actually have left? We might have to turn it on for a bit. Haven't had this running in a long time. 131. Let me just take six stacks with me. And I'm just going to turn it on and let it run. Oh, oh well, that's not what I wanted to do, but okay. <laughs> oh, and the pearls. All right, you guys do your thing here with the bam, whack, oof, clunk, slot. All these different words that are coming out there. I think that's... Whenever that crits or something like that, which I think happens because I have to... No, I only think I put looting in there. I don't think I put sharpness in there. But anyway, let's go ahead and close the door. I don't have a pressure plate there to auto-close because I keep stepping on it and I didn't like that. So let's get rid of all of these. So five, six, seven, eight. Okay, let's see how far eight get us. Otherwise, I need to make... I think I have blaze. Yes, I do have blaze. So let's just get... I don't have any way of processing these yet, but I have a blaze farm, so... It doesn't really matter if we waste a few of them. They're easy to get. See, this is the reason why I don't like typing in there. I gotta stop doing that. Because now I have to type it in again, while if I type it in here and have it different... I don't need to type it again if I just do something else, right? Okay. So, let's make eight more of these, and then I'm out of something again. What was that now? What, what? What did I just make? Huh. I'm not sure. What did I just make? <laughs> No, no, I get that I was making this, but I saw the leftover recipe, so that was kind of weird. So, we have our handy, handy bag. That is the first step, in case you're not familiar with what that does, is now if I open my inventory, I have this extra bag space. But I cannot put anything in here yet, because I have to make memory cards first. Now, to me, what I usually like doing is, I like to make myself... Okay, the difference between these is, if you look at the at the description, is every every slot here can hold up to 64. Okay? Um, then this one here can hold up to 256, 1024, and 4096. Um, so usually the first two, because those are for tools and stuff that I'm not going to have more than a stack of each. I make the two small ones. And then the last two, I usually make the big tenors, or maybe we'll make a 10 and a 12. Because those I usually use for this kind of stuff here. Um... So I can have all these different dirt and cobble and wood and so on for a project with me. That works out really well. But right now we're just going to make... I'm going to show you guys one of them because there's a lot of steps to these. Like the 12, we, you need to make four 10s. The 10s, you need to make four 8s. You get only one each. Oh, wow. Wait a second. This looks a lot cheaper to me. So this is a... What is the difference between a 6 and a 10? It's gold. No? What? <laughs> what is happening here? Does this recipe not look exactly the same as the 10 for you guys? Am I missing something? Ah, yes. These ingots are different. Those are these ingots. Okay. That's the one I made for the handy bag just now. That's the ones we made. That's why I got confused because there's two different ingots. Aha, okay, my bad. So these are the easier ones. So let's go ahead and make the two sixers here. So I'm going to need eight of these. So just two of these sets. And I'm going to make to make a bunch of chests. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a bunch of wood. And make what I need it to be the spruce. Come on. Give me that. Thank you. Let's just make a bunch of these. Luckily, they work in every recipe. So, um, chest. Let's put these here. So, there's two of them. So, now I can put these two 
in here and then we'll put them up here and i should have enough slime balls uh, let's just use these bam bam all right so we got two twelves all right that's not bad see that was quite easy and really not that expensive but now the cool thing is that i can take like the last one is usually real temporary okay for me for building so let's just take all of this stuff out and let's come in here so this one is like the current project this one is stuff that i want to keep on me right so i usually like to keep dirt on me but because i made a dirt stick here between episodes i don't really need to have dirt on me okay so for right now i'm just gonna leave that in the last slot because it's temporary together with this that and some wood some cobble diorite i don't need i don't need this but i do need these Okay, so you guys get the idea. So now we have a really cool, and I should be able to just do this, right? Um, let me get all the red wood. I want to get this out because that's going to take up so much space. And we do have enough room here for that stuff. There we go. So now that's turned out. And I also found that I had a bunch of spruce in a drawer. Let me take that out real quick. Uh, uh, there we go. Because I also want all of these in here. So now all 502 are in the draw because there was some in these in these four uh, modular storages. Anyways, there was a lot of uh, stuff here. I'm going to organize my bags now and get rid of all the stuff here. And then I'll meet you over at the factory where we're going to continue. All right, these are what my bags look like now. Just a quick through, you know, all the different tools, like I said. Then this is all the magic stuff and fighting and flight and this my mining setup right here and then this is the my permanent keep stuff on me right there's going to be much more in here eventually all the different pipes and and nodes and like anything that has to do with you know stuff that you always need in the different projects and then this over here is going to be kind of like my temporary bag that i probably empty every once in a while when i'm done with a big project like this water wheel setup here but first I wanted to address an amazing comment that I'm going to overlay here right now because I forgot the name. I'm so sorry, but it was an amazing comment. I'm, I'm really liking this. And then I combined it with another comment that I found as well. When it comes to where the wires come out and I am loving it. Okay. So what we're going to do here now is actually use a little bit of combining those two. So what I'm going to need first is my chiseling bits. And we're going to need, let's just use the the clean one, the clean cobblestone brick right there. And we're going to put that here. And then I'm going to take this one. It's already in plain mode here, right there, plain. And when I look at this, it looks like it's one thick. That's perfect. So I'm going to take down one, just like that. And I'm going to place this guy right there. I'm going to switch this one here to same material and chill the entire thing down. And then I'm going to set this one here again to plain mode and put it on top. So now from the side, it looks like this. So it's literally just a plate on top of this. But we're going to take it one further. And that is what I like the best. We're going to take, I'm going to need four of these. Uh, let's put them right there. And we'll connect them on top here. So now it looks like, this is so cool. I really like this. I guess i should actually not use that one but instead use these so they have the same color than the one up here you know it would be a relay not the connector so let's put the relay here just like that so now this block looks nicer it looks different on the top right and we have the connector so it actually looks like it's connecting to there and i don't even need to connect it you know you can't tell the difference people are probably going to ask soon like hey how did you do that <laughs> um so I'm going to do the same on the other three here in just a second. But I wanted to show you guys what I came up with here. Um, and the way I did it is I I used on the bottom here as well there. I used the uh, right here. Dark oak wood planks. Um, all the way up to there. And I just always went as far as I could to make the water flow over. And there's a couple of different trickster thingies in here to make it look like it's flowing nicely. I really like the flow of this. I'm very happy how it turned out. So there's actually three source blocks over here 
that flow that way and then fall over. And then I placed... Okay, the thing is... Let me see if I can show you here because I think it's quite important to know that. Um, where is my tank? I gotta get my... Okay, that's gonna take me a minute here. This one right there. Let me go ahead and make sure this is set to bucket mode. Okay. Um, actually, let me just take it and fill it. Oh, is this not a... Not an endless water source. Okay, let me just come down here and fill it up real quick. Just so I have enough so I can place it again. But I wanted to just show you guys this. How it's set up. Because you might find it interesting. There we go. And I'm going to just block all this water so I can show you how I did it. Um, okay, so first we're going to have to... We're going to block it right here. Because then this is going to flow back over later. But you guys see there is one more water source block left here. And give me that. So you guys see, there are three water source blocks here. But now if I place three water source blocks... I got to press shift right there they're not flowing properly you guys see that right so let me pick them back up so what you need to do here is you're gonna have to block this off first and then place these three so they're flowing over here nicely and now when you remove these it's also going to flow nicely over this edge here oh, get up there you see that so that's how i did this and then this one over here was the exact same way make it flow straight first and you see there's already a problem now. So I'm just going to have to block this off for a second. So now it flows straight. And then it flows over there. Okay, so that's how I did it. And I had to come pretty high in order for this to, you know, be able to flow all the way down there. I needed to make this a flowing as well as going around the corner. Right? And this is what it turns out. So over here we have max distance. There's always seven planks before it tips over. Water flows eight blocks, so it will flow up to here, right? And there is... I don't think there's any water source blocks here, no. So I think that if I block this off up here... I'm pretty sure that's how I did it. <laughs> it's been a couple days. Yes, the whole thing starts flowing, stops flowing, right? So this right here is going to be the pipe exit right up there. Um, and then down here I have new water source blocks. So I'm gonna leave this water off for a second. Number one is so I don't need to go pee every 10 minutes from hearing the water running. <laughs> um, and secondly, so if I need to go through here, I don't need to fight the current every time. Um, so let me put this away for right now. And I'm gonna change these out in just a second. So now my thinking is that, like I mentioned this, I would like to have this run underneath my factory floor. Right? So that means that I'm going to have to build the factory at least at this height here. Um, yeah. So I'm just going to use these right now as an indicator. So this is going to become our factory floor. Right? At this height. So all the way from up here, there's going to be the, the, the pipe exit. And I want this to be viewable from inside the factory. I think that would look really cool. We see the water gushing out right here and then going underneath here. And then maybe the factory floor can actually start over here. So we're not that far back and high in there. I think that's a better idea. Um, let me go ahead and sleep real quick. To get rid of this. Oh, I'm so happy about these handy bags. But the handy bag makes life so much easier. So we're going to have a nice pipe here. And then we have it gushing out to here. Right? And then this is going to be like a half circle blocked off or something. And then we'll have our factory floor actually starting here. Right? Or maybe this is on the outside and we just have a big window that we can see. There's something like that. Right? And then, of course, this is going to be coming across here. Like this. And like I said, this... Dark oak is just temporary. So this is going to be a factory floor. And here, I'm going to have to figure out what crate to make. I'm probably going to have to make some chiseling bit stuff, right? Which shouldn't be hard to make. Um, no, no biggie at all. I'm just going to have to find some nice looking dark blocks. So it looks like a metal crating. And then I was thinking we're going to have the factory come all the way to here. Okay, the factory floor. So this is on the outside here. It will come out. Here I set up a little bit of a block selection that I just wanted to see the different types next to each other. And I'm probably going to keep that over here in the in the mining age in my tree area. 
uh, for future reference and when I have other projects, I'm going to keep adding to this. I've done this many times before. I like it here in the mining age. And if I ever need to reset this age, well, I'm going to lose a little bit of stone. So nobody cares, right? All right, this is the whole cobblestone selection that I like. There's many more blocks, but these are the ones that I like the best. Um, this is andesite. It has that blue tint to it. I don't think that I can use this very much in the factory area. It would look awkward having this on the bottom and around the water and then all of a sudden have these cleaner looking with the blue tint. And this is regular stone brick. I think it's too clean. But um, this one, I don't know how much of this I'm going to be able to use on the actual factory. But then I also played around with some stone slabs to kind of see the contrast between them. I, I like those a lot. Then this is cyan terracotta, which makes a lot of sense, right? That this is the grayest terracotta that is, <laughs> even though it's cyan stain. It's, I never understood that logic. Um, and then these are some X-tone blocks um that are cool but i think they're too modern um and by the way when you when you make any of these here the i made the corp it's you have to make the x-tone tile first which is just slabs around a stone and then you take that around gravel to make the corp now depending on what you put here in the middle like when i show you here in usage you make all these different types right so for example the bit is with coal and then these turn into i don't know 16 20 different types um but what's cool is that when you have chisel and you put a oops i gotta take it out first and you put a base block into the chisel you can get any one of the other ones out okay um but this does not work and i just want to point this out like here this is the same the corp but it's not the base block the way you change these you have them on your bar and then you just shift scroll wheel right you can get all the different types but when you put this one into the chisel, you cannot do anything with it. But when I turn it back into the base block, it's that, where is it at? This one. And now I put it into the chisel. You guys see, I can turn it into the other one. So find the one that you can make the easiest. I chose the one with gravel because it just is the easiest, right? <laughs> um, so anyway, I just wanted to point this out for a second. So these are the, the, the contrast blocks. Um, I'm only liking these two here. And... Then I got busy and I made a mock-up. I made a template that I'm gonna... I like this. Um, it's, a, it's a warm build. It's not a typical factory rustic. I kind of wanted to do something a little bit different because when you look at that redwood forest, you know, it's so nice and warm and beautiful. I didn't just want to slap in some ugly, um, worn-down uh, factory, right? So I'm hoping this is going to fit in there nicely. The only thing I'm still torn between is these two right here. If I'm going to make this the, the, the cobblestone pillar or if I'm going to use redwood uh, logs. And I think I'm going to be able to decide that best when I actually build the first few sections over in the factory area. And you guys see, I'm going a little bit more detailed here. I'm using chisel and bits. Um, to get a little bit more depth, right? So this is chiseled down two panels and this is down four panels and the same on this side Two and four. So this is only um, What do we have we have 16 so if I chisel down so this is eight thick and this is 12 thick, right? And then in here I came up with I looked up factory windows um, And there's all kinds of different types, but I did find a lot of them that are taller and then rounded on the top and coming back down oh that bird sound just scared me <laughs> um and so even though this kind of looks more residential here um there is actually windows that look very similar to this in factories so i'm gonna stick with this and this is supposed to be almost like a stucco wall okay so it's it's more it's supposed to be more clean because we're gonna have so much of these textures here all around it and i explain to you why in a minute when we get over to the factory so and then i put in hinges i put a little bit of lip outside you find these in in these factory windows and then i even put two handles on the inside so it looks like you could open these two outer ones right so i'm i'm very happy how this looks so far and the way it's gonna be built guys and that's why i'm showing you here first because i actually have it here is on both sides it's gonna come up like this a little bit taller to about here and then there's going to be a middle section that's going to be even taller. And then there's going to be a 
a V-shaped sloped roof on top of that that's going to overhang slightly over this one, okay? To give it even more depth and more, I don't know, um, I don't know how you call that. It's not just depth, it's uh, more playful. I, I don't know what the architectural terms are. I don't think they use playful <laughs> in the architecture world, but it, I'm sure you guys understand it. So there's two pitched from the side, and then in the middle, a V-shaped, uh, a pitched roof that's overhanging those two. So let's go over in the factory um, area. I did finally set a home there because I needed to go back and forth so many times. Um, oh, it's night. Let's go ahead and sleep real quick. Bam, and gone. All right, and let me get up here. You guys see there's a lot of dirt because I laid everything out in dirt. So later on, I'm going to make a rod of the shifting crust here, and then I can just change out the dirt blocks for what I actually want to use. But I like with the, with the um, wand stick here, and then this guy here, the portable null nullifier, is set to dirt. So I don't ever have any dirt accumulating. I can just, you know, play something. If I don't like it, I break it, and it doesn't go in my inventory. It actually goes into the nullifier. So this is the layout here. This is the height that we set. The wall needs to start. And every one of these marks from here to including this one is 9. From here, including this one is 9. So this one is actually going to be 9, 17. Okay, and then over here we have three sections. Um, and these are the ones here, this section and this section. It's going to be the one I just showed you with that chisel and bit stuff. And then over here is, right here is where the roof goes up and from the other side up. Now over here I had to take down a big redwood tree and I actually had to rebuild this one here. It was almost halfway down. Um, somehow it, it, it got stuck together with the tree that was next to it. But I rebuilt it and I think it looks pretty, pretty natural. And this tree right here, I just shaved down. I don't want to get rid of it. I kind of want to have it hugging the factory building. I think that would be cool. And the same one with this one. And then, yeah, well, you guys see I even haven't shaved it down here. And then we would also have a big basement. So I'm going to go ahead now and build one of these sections. And I think the entrance, by the way, is going to be over here. I wanted to point that out as well. Let's get down there. I use this to get down because I don't take any fall damage. It's going to be really hard. This is what I wanted to explain to you. Why the redwood tree here, oh, the redwood corners and the pillars here might look good is because this entire wall here is going to be exposed from the side. I'm probably going to have to put some kind of decorations or something over here because if it's all in this um, cobblestone brick chisel design, it's going to be quite overwhelming. And so that's why I wanted to have the warmth on top. And I think that maybe the redwood trees here as columns are going to kind of loosen this up a little bit. And it's going to look good. So that would mean also this one here would become the redwood tree. Oh, by the way, if you guys haven't seen it, I made mana steel shears. Because I've been um, cutting down a lot of these ferns and stuff here. Because I don't think you can grow those. If I bone meal here, I just get grass, not ferns. And so I got 150 here, and I have more in the system already. Yeah, 264. And that's why I just... Mana Steel Shears make it easier, right? So anyway, so this is going to be probably that. Now, over here, we use Spruce. But it's going to be far enough from away from here that I think it's fine. Because also, this is a different biome here. Right? So I think the Spruce Logs here still going to work even if we use Redwood here. All right, let me get busy here. I know it's a lot of talking today, but it's just such a big project that I cannot time-lapse this. I was thinking of time-lapsing it, but there's going to be so much chisel and bits work that it doesn't make any sense. These need to go away here. Yeah. Okay, I'll be back when we have a few sections up. All right, I am starting to put in uh, the other side over here. This is what it looks like from the inside. I'm really, really liking it so far. I think that going with the Redwood... Um, logs over here is going to be the way to go let me show you from out here um it's going to be a very gray wall right so i'm definitely going to have to figure out that i maybe put in some some windows down here and we're actually going to have a real basement okay some kind of like almost like i think they're they're called sutteron windows but that's not really true because i think sutteron if I'm pronouncing that right, I don't know. <laughs> I think means that you have a window like at right above the 
the ground here like there or down here like if you had a window here and then you can look out um it's a, it's very common in europe i know that um let's put these in here and that so those are not really called those but you know some some lower floor windows but in a more graded look that's i don't know how to explain that um instead of having the nice uh oh, oh, it's so hard to get up there i can do it yes there we go you know not nice like these something else and i'm also of course gonna have to figure out where i want to be able to go down i was thinking of possibly putting it back here and actually making almost like a spiral staircase to get down into the basement right so there's two other things here is that right here i want to be my entrance right so this right here is the middle um so it's gonna be wait didn't i add i think i added molasses doors um is there a wider there's only this really the the tech door and then there's the two wide doors and this so maybe i'll just you know nothing it doesn't always need to be centered so maybe i'll put a double door here right and then make a similar design to this window over in this area, just smaller. And then I also want to have a door right here, actually. There. And then we'll continue with this pattern. Oh, I don't have any more. Let's just do it like this. Oh, I gotta change to replace. Like that. And then you... Are you going to replace? Yes. Okay, good. I like that you can walk on this little ledge that makes it a lot easier when, you, when you're working out there. It's really, really convenient. I didn't need to pillar up a lot and stuff. So then right here we have another door. And this one I was thinking we can then use our platform mod here. To, for example, put stuff right here. And then we can have a walk around and then maybe... Maybe something going down right here in the middle or whatnot, right? Just, I'm going to leave this here so I don't forget. I still need to replace a lot of the dirt, but I don't even think I'm going to make our, our, that uh, wand of the shifting crust or whatever it's called. I'm just going to do it by hand. I don't want to waste a lot, but I think this is, this is as much as I'm going to show you today. I'm going to continue working on this and then hopefully have it done by the next episode because we're already probably well over 40 minutes by now if i know myself and i don't think i'm gonna be able to finish this i really want to get this episode out it's been over a week since the last unbound episode so i really want to get this out to you guys so you can see that uh, what's happening um let's take a look at it one more thing here can i get to you oh perfect thank you wanted to look at it from over here i mean this thing is gonna be gone um, it's probably going to come to here and then diagonal to somewhere here and then up to where this entrance is going to be. Or something like that I want to do. And then over here there's going to be a... I was thinking you come up like this straight and then a little bit left and then upwards like that to the door. Right? So that's also going to loosen up this, this big front wall over here. So that's going to be really cool. And... I guess I should have shown you guys that a minute ago. Oh boy. Um, can I get over there? Yes. I wanted to show you this from the actual tree side. There we go. I love this one. It's the best thing. Not kidding. Let's get up there. Check it out. I like it. I think this looks very nice in this. It it blends in. It, it really makes it easy for all the gray. Like I said, there's probably going to be a window down here. Maybe even a door. So we can get into this side of the forest, right? And that's going to be the basement. Um, and it's going to be much taller. It's going to be probably two up here. Because I still have to pitch this up. And then the middle section is going to be taller. So it's going to be much taller. But I'm really liking it, guys. Let me know what you think about this. And give me all the input you guys have on this. All of it is greatly appreciated. And like last time, you guys gave me such a good tip with the what I should do with these wires. Which, by the way, is going to break when I update the mod pack. I'm going to have to figure out what to do because with the next immersive engineering, you cannot run wire through blocks anymore. So we're actually going to have to probably redo this somehow so I can actually have the wires come out of the ground. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care, stay safe, and bye-bye.